Hi there, Gary here from Longsons. I'm gonna take you on a brief video tour of this extremely well presented detached three bedroom house, relatively recently built by the much respected uh, local builders, Abel Homes, uh, situated in the popular uh, Norfolk market town of Watton. Okay, so that's the property right there in front of you. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Able Homes do build a uh, very energy efficient uh, property, so it's extremely well insulated. Uh, we've got, as you can see, solar panels on the roof, providing, uh, well, helping to keep those uh, energy bills down. Uh, they also offer um, high spec build, including things uh, such as, as you can see there, uh, galvanized guttering, triple glazed windows, and much more. But uh, anyway, back to the exterior of the property. We're looking at the front. There's a small, low maintenance front garden laid to uh, uh, wooden chip-ins with a selection of shrubs. We've got driveway here leading to the garage. Uh, the driveway provides an off-road parking. Uh, the garage is actually converted, uh, as you'll see later on in the video, it's uh, currently converted and set up as a treatment room, but offering lots of other potential uses. And that also has uh, air conditioning as well, but I'll show you that in a short while. Uh, meanwhile, let's head indoors and uh, have a look around inside. So we've got a very nice open plan layout to the ground floor. So we're now in the entrance hall area. We've got stairs up to the first floor, understairs storage cupboard, and an opening through to the lounge with French doors opening to the rear garden. We've got this kitchen with island units and dining area. So there's an entrance door in the dining area, also opening out to the rear garden. So back to the kitchen. Uh, we've got integral appliances. So we've got integrated Bosch fridge stroke freezer, integrated Bosch electric oven with Bosch gas hob and extractor hood over. There's an integrated Bosch uh, dishwasher. There's space and plumbing there for a washing machine as well. Got a composite one and a half bowl sink unit with mixer, tap, and drainer. And as I mentioned earlier, the windows are triple glazed, so that's triple glazed window to the fronts. And there's also an integrated wine rack in the island unit as well. Very nice. So back to the lounge area where we've got a wall mounted air conditioning unit as well, which is uh, uh, very nice on a day like today. It's uh, quite warm and sticky out there today. Uh, and that is working well, that unit. Uh, and also on the ground floor, we have cloakroom with wash basin and WC. So that's the ground floor. Let's venture upstairs and have a look at the first floor. So we've got the landing, doors going off to the various rooms. There is a built-in cupboard and that's housing the hot water cylinder. So if we head through to bedroom one, so a double bedroom, as you can see, window to the front and wall mounted air conditioning units, which um, I can vouch for is keeping this room lovely and cool. So a good size room. And then we've got an opening just to the side here, which takes us through to the ensuite shower room, where we've got a good size shower cubicle. There's a towel radiator, WC, and wash basin set within fitted cabinets. And then if we head through, we've got bedroom two, another double bedroom. Very nice panel into the wall behind the bed. Triple glazed window to the rear. A 
And then we've got bedroom three. Currently set up as a cinema stroke gaming room. So there's room on the wall there for a very large TV. I've got this uh, mood lighting, I'm gonna call it, to the ceiling with a drop box to the ceiling uh, incorporating the uh, spotlights. So uh, a very funky room at the moment, but uh, could quite easily be reverted back to a bedroom if required, of course. And then back to the front of the property, we've got bathroom. So it's a four piece bathroom suite in here. Got bath with mixer tap and a separate hand shower attachment. Got a good size shower cubicle, wash basin, WC, and towel radiator. Okay, so that's the property interior. Let's pop downstairs and we'll head out and have a look at the landscaped rear garden. So we're heading out, back in the lounge, heading out the uh, French doors into this very well presented, low maintenance rear garden. So I'm now stood on the decked seating area where we've got this fitted bar unit with space for a large, impressive looking barbecue. We've got outside tap, outside lights, gated access to the side. So firstly, we'll head um, we'll head up in this direction. Got these very nice. Um, I'm no plant expert, but they look like palm trees to me, or ferns. I might be wrong. Actually, I think they're ferns. It's one of them too, I think. So we've got a garden laid to uh, low maintenance artificial grass. No need for a lawn mower here. And then tucked away in the corner. We've got this really nice uh, paved area tucked away in the corner with a fish pond to the perimeter. I call it a moat-like fish pond and some stepping stones across to the paved area in the corner. Very nice. So... We also have so there's raised beds there as well. These ones are covered. They uh, currently got uh, glass covers to them. And then if we head down the side of the garage to the rear of the converted garage, we've got the uh, got this raised bed here, which is currently being used for growing vegetables. And there's another paved area tucked away in the corner here with another storage shed there as well but as I mentioned earlier the garage has been converted so it's uh, let's head in and have a look as you can see currently set up as a treatment room so there's a partition wall that's uh, that we're now looking at towards the end there uh, that does leave uh, there is some garage left on the other side of that wall it's uh, suitable for storage and access via the main garage door. We also have air conditioning here, wall mounted air conditioning units, and there's some uh, modern fitted units to the wall there as well. But the, the, yeah, the room offers uh, many potential uses, i.e. garden studio, possibly a gym, garden office, um, or even uh, it wouldn't take too much work to revert it back to a garage if, if that was what was required. So uh, very nicely presented rear garden. Okay, so that was the brief video tour 
of the, I'm sure you'll agree, this extremely well presented detached modern three bedroom house we have available in the market town of Watton in Norfolk. Thank you for watching.